Use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Also check out my Roblox merch and my real life merch. These are all of my social media accounts and I have no backups. And my Discord server will be linked in the description. Subscribe and enjoy the video. Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And this morning, Bloxburg updated to version 0.10.1. So let's go ahead and read the update log. Added new food and kitchen themed items. Added transparent beam and rod structurals. Food items can now be used multiple times before they disappear. General food model and animation improvements, minor UI changes, reverted pool water visuals, and major bug fixes. One thing that I did notice while I was loading into my neighborhood was that the homepage was changed a bit. So it used to say play store options and then right next to play there was a house icon that led you to the neighborhoods and they changed it. So now it says play neighborhoods and store. But okay, let's go into build mode and see all the new stuff. Okay, so because we have some new food items, I thought it would make sense that we start off in the kitchen. So first let's go into build and new. So we have the semi-transparent rod, the transparent standard rod, the semi-transparent standard beam, and last but not least, the transparent standard beam. And these all come in different sizes. Now we're in the decorate category and we can see that the special category is gone. So that means all of the Halloween decorations are gone. So I hope you guys were able to stock up. Here's my plot with all of my Halloween decorations. And it is now safe to delete all of these and they will go straight to your inventory. Okay, so let's see all the new stuff. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. So we have groceries. These are all items that we would see when we prepare food items and now they're separated. These are just decorations though, so I don't think that we're gonna be able to interact with them, but we'll see. We can place down the flower right here. Then we have the eggs, jelly, peanut butter, this thing is huge, milk, and cereal. These would be really fun items to decorate your pantries with and just to add a bit more decoration and clutter to your kitchen. We also have a spice jar. We can place that there. A tray. We have a tray now. I was trying to make a tray out of the basic shapes. Well, I mean, I guess that's just more convenient. And then we have this round jar. We have a round decorative vase. A decorative lemon bowl. I'll place this over here. Don't worry, I'm gonna add everything in a more aesthetic way off camera so you guys can see that in my roleplay series. But this is just to showcase the items for now. We also have this wooden seasoning grinder, a rounded square jar, and a lot of these items can be resized. We have a wire fruit bowl. Ooh, that's nice. I think I like the wooden style a bit better. Let's move this over here. And then we can put the tall decorative vase right next to this one. There's a metal spice rack. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. I love this. I love this one. I love this so much. I love this so much. There's also a geometric wire fruit bowl, which looks like this. Ooh, I like this one better, actually. Let's get rid of this one. There's also an oil lantern, but I'm pretty sure we had this already. Maybe there's, whoa. Maybe it was updated somehow, so we're just gonna leave that there. There's also this elegant marble fruit bowl, which is really fancy. And a comically large fork. There's also a comically large spoon. Oh, these can go on your wall for decoration. I won't be doing that though. Then we have this metal pipe kitchen organizer. This one goes against the wall like that. And then we have this kitchen organizer shelf. We have a little bit of room over here, so that's what it looks like. It's a shelf, so I can put stuff. <gasps> Wow, that's so cute. There's also a glass seasoning grinder too. Wasn't this called dirt brown and now it's called medium brown? Okay, so for now, we're just gonna leave everything 
as it is and we're gonna go and check it out up close i think i discovered another new feature so if you go to boost your moods it now has this like loading thing did you guys notice that there's nothing new in the take ingredient section that's a bit of a bummer i was definitely hoping for some new foods that we could cook i mean thanksgiving is literally right around the corner but i guess that's okay what we're gonna do is make some toasts because there are some new like eating stages so let's put this in the toaster Okay, our toast is done. Whoa! Why is my toast already bitten if I didn't even try it yet? Uh, okay. I thought... Hold on. Because... What? I thought that the bitten part would happen while I was eating it. Because doesn't that make more sense? Okay, let's try with more foods. What if we just grab some yogurt? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it just went down a bit. Did you guys see that? And we didn't eat it all in one portion. That is so cool. Oh my God, I love that. That's so realistic. Look, it just went down more. And then I think this is our final bite. Ooh, I love that. That's definitely one of my new favorite features. Okay, okay. Um, Wait, let's see. Can we click on these? <gasps> yeah, awesome. We can take some fruit. And you can take a lemon. Wow, you don't even eat the fruit in one bite. Is it just the lemon? No, let's see. Let's try the banana. What if it like peels? Will it like peel? Oh, no. Okay, that's that's cool, I guess. No, there's no bitten part in the apple. Okay, okay, but we have the shelf over here. We can't interact with any of these. Wait, we can use this? <gasps> Ooh, I like that. Okay. And then we can just, like, place it down wherever. Oh, man, I thought we'd be able to just, like, place it down. Well, I guess when we get rid of it, it'll just appear again. Kind of like the roller skates that we have. And then we have these items right here, which are all just for decoration. Wait, hold on. We can just click on this and take the peanut butter and jelly ingredients? Who? What? Wait, that's so cool. Okay, let's make our little... Peanut butter and jelly. Okay, now let's eat it. Oh, it just went away in one. What is up with this oil lantern? Is this the new feature that we can walk around with it? I mean, I'm guessing. That's cool. Like, imagine doing, like, a camping role play or, like... I don't know. That's the only one that really makes sense to me for this. <laughs> and then we have the cereal. We can also take the cereal ingredients. And we can take milk by just clicking on it. Oh! <gasps> Wait, look, those are little potato chips. <gasps> and the bag open too. They're cubes. They're not even chips. Whoa. Okay, let's try this drinking animation. <gasps> wow, that looks so much better. Okay, so I made some corn and we're gonna take a portion. And I wanted to see if we could actually use the salt and pepper. We can. Okay, so now let's go and check on the new water feature because apparently, whoa, oh my gosh, I did not even realize how much I missed this water. I wouldn't say this was a huge update, but some major details were definitely added and those are details that I really appreciate because that'll just make my role plays a little bit better. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video and comment down below and let me know what is your favorite part of this update. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!